Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. I was just heading out. I've had a lot of people been asking me actually about deuterium depleted water, some information in regards to it. And what I'll say first of all, as you always know, I'm not giving you any guys medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims. And I'm also going to ask you guys to comment below because do you want me to share information in the health world, like my opinions about what really works, what really doesn't, what's the real deal, what isn't. Because I've had a lot of people ask for my opinions and one of the things I've learned throughout just a lot of years of research is that there is so much corruption and terrible stuff in the world of health. And obviously, you know, people don't realize it would be my best interest if I just told you guys everything's fantastic, buy all these different products, and because I could potentially be making money off of all this. But I'd much rather tell you guys the truth about what out there really does work, what really doesn't, what's backed by science, what isn't. And the thing I'm gonna be talking about today is deuterium depleted water. Does the science look good on it? Yes, actually it does look good. The biggest issue with deuterium depleted water is a lot of the stuff that's being sold out there is not actually real. Uh, the reason I know this is because I actually have some very interesting contacts. They actually have a lab and they've literally been testing all these different companies that claim to be selling deuterium depleted water and there's very few of them that are actually legitimate that the water is real the biggest problem with deuterium depleted water is that it's really not something that you can use sustainably it's very difficult to get it and to know if it's really real to use it regularly it can get very expensive and it's just yeah it doesn't seem very sustainable one of the interesting things is how they make it now there's a lot of videos out there which apparently are not legitimate. It's not real as far as them showing you how you can supposedly make it on your own and you freeze the water and you scrape off the top layers of ice. Apparently that method really doesn't work. Uh, the right way to make it is through a certain type of distillation process. Interestingly enough, I always recommend uh, using what I call a carbon distiller. You can find one at mypurewater.com. I can put some links below. And I even have a discount code for it if you guys want a bigger discount, which is Uprising144K, the same as the name of the YouTube channel. Is that gonna get rid of all the deuterium? No. Can it potentially help some? Yeah, it appears to be the case, but it's not gonna get rid of all of it. Now, but it will make your water really, really extremely clean, which seems to be very, very important. Now, the biggest issue is how do you get the benefits of something like deuterium depleted water? And it actually appears that using the proper amounts and the proper type of molecular hydrogen could potentially help actually get this, the deuterium out of the body. And this is something that's going to be going into some scientific testing very, very soon. One of the pieces of equipment they literally chose to use is the Lourdes Hydrofix, the 2021 edition, because that appears to be, well, the best. And that's what they want to use for the particular study. Um, they didn't want to go with Brown's gas. They didn't want to go with some cheap Chinese devices. They didn't want to go with devices that only do inhalation. They're literally going with something that is certified, lab tested. This is a lab. They want to make sure to do everything properly. And they have a lot of unpublished data, which they already have accumulated, but apparently they're going to be publishing some very interesting data. And I'm only sharing a little bit of with you guys today. But in the end, the deuterium depleted water seems to be the real deal. I personally wouldn't buy some because you can't really trust the source. And also, it just wouldn't be sustainable. But from what I can see, using molecular hydrogen properly, both with the water and the gas inhalation, seems to basically be good enough at this time, but I will definitely provide you more data if you guys want. Make sure again to comment below. Let me know if you want, again, me to review different products like this and bring you more information, obviously, about deuterium depleted water. I think this is gonna be very interesting as we move forward. And I can share much more information that I think you guys will find very helpful if you're wanting you know me to share such info so with that being said guys thanks for watching the channel thanks for supporting the channel thanks for sharing subscribing all that good stuff and i'll see you guys next time on the next one